The wind turbine installation and construction preparations have been fully maintained and the strength of the wind turbine foundation concrete has reached the design requirements. The surroundings of the foundation have been completely backfilled and compacted, and the installation has been completed after handover and acceptance. The road leading to the installation site should be smooth. The installation site of each wind turbine has enough area and the site is flat, with an area of about 40米, 60米, suitable for the operation of one main crane and one auxiliary crane. The main crane is located in the main wind direction or the reverse position of the wind turbine foundation, and the auxiliary crane is located according to the needs of the operation. The hoisting machinery and hoisting tools required for installation are complete and can be used in the project only after passing the inspection. The quality of the equipment and parts on site has passed the acceptance of relevant departments and has a report certificate. Before hoisting, contact the meteorological department to understand the recent weather conditions and arrange the hoisting time reasonably. The storage. Assembly and transportation of the main equipment and storage of the transport blades should be oil sealed and packaged as required. Composite materials do not need to be packaged, but they must be properly protected to avoid collision damage. The blades can be stored in the open, but the blades should be properly protected to avoid damage to the surface of the blades. In order to ensure the stability and reduce the wind resistance when storing in the wind field, a certain gap should be ensured between the blades and the ground, and the distance should be controlled within 200 to 400 m. When the blade is transported, it is necessary to line the weak part of the blade and install an appropriate protective cover. It is not advisable to place the blade horizontally during transportation to avoid affecting the strength of the blade. Adequate support should be provided for the main body of the blade when loading and unloading in conjunction with civil engineering. When handling the blade, protect the trailing edge of the blade to avoid local bending and local cracks. The wheel hub should be stored in a clean, ventilated, rainproof and snow eroded place, and long-term exposure to the sun is not allowed. The wheel hub should be protected from vibration and impact during transportation and a protective cover should be installed outside the deflector to avoid bumps, rain and other harmful other erosion. When loading and unloading in coordination with civil works, the axis of the hub should be adjusted to be perpendicular to the horizontal plane to ensure smooth connection of the blade bolts through the flange. The tar can be stored separately in the open, but it should avoid corrosive media. The bottom of the tower tube should be provided with lining measures and firm fixing measures to avoid collisions. When loading and unloading in coordination with civil works, check the tower for damage in advance, repair it in time, and mark the hanging position of the spreader according to the tower manual. Use a large transport vehicle to transport the tower from the manufacturer to the installation site, and place it within the rotating lifting radius of the crane. The placement side of the tower should be as flat as possible without slopes. The two ends of the tower are padded with square wood, and the two sides of the tower are fixed to prevent the tower from rolling. Before the tower is installed, the dust on the double flanges of the foundation ring and the leftovers of the poured concrete should be removed, especially the flanges and various parts, and no corrosion is allowed. Before installing the tower, Check the base and use a level to correct the level of the base. The level of air should meet the manufacturer's requirements to ensure the safety and quality of the construction during the entire installation process. Then fix the power control cabinet on the base. Before hoisting the tower, first connect the hoisting shelf to the bottom flange and upper flange of the tower with high strength bolts on the ground. Tighten it to the specified torque with a torque wrench and use a 100T crane to lift the tower at the bottom flange. Another Yagamimian T crane is hoisting the upper flange of the tower. After the two cranes lift the hook at the same time and leave the ground 30 centimeters, the 1000T crane lifts the hook and rotates the bolt. When the tower is lifted to the vertical position, the lift the hook of a 100T crane, then use a 1000T crane to place the tower on the embedded bolts of the foundation, level the tower, Measure the verticality of the tower. 
and then use a torque wrench to tighten each bolt of the foundation to the torque value after the inspection is correct. Loosen the hook of the 1000T crane. The hoisting of the tower adopts segmented hoisting, which is erected in fixed section by section from bottom to top, and the flanges are tightly connected. Wind turbine nacelle installation. The installation of the nacelle of the wind turbine generator should be carried out in strict accordance with the design drawings. Installation instructions and requirements and installation procedures under the guidance of the manufacturer as specialized technicians. During the installation, it should be selected under good weather conditions, when it is raining or when the wind speed exceeds Jeremy Mania. It is not allowed to install wind turbines. The installation process is as follows. The installation work is performed by two cranes of 1000T and 100T. In order to ensure that the crane boom does not touch the tower during the lifting process, it is necessary to ensure that there is enough working space when the crane is hoisted. The support part of the crane needs to be padded with a subgrade box, and the grounding area is increased to disperse the lifting load and prevent the ground from sinking. Before hoisting the engine room, park the Audi and the NT crane within the allowable radius of rotation, and fix the three special lifting point tools and hooks of the engine room. Fix the human pull wind ropes on both sides of the cabin, and perform a test hoist first. Lift the cabin shooter Ashalimi from the ground to check the stability of the crane, the reliability of the brake and the firmness of the binding points. Only after the above mentioned work is completed, can it be lifted. During the lifting process, the engine room should be kept flat. If a large inclination occurs, the engine room should be lowered again and lifted after correction. When installing the nacelle, two assemblers are required to stand on the tower platform. The nacelle is lifted by a crane, and the wind rope is manually pulled to control the rotation direction of the nacelle. The nacelle should absolutely not collide with the crane and the tower. When the nacelle is lifted to the height of the top of the tower, the nacelle will be connected to the flange on the top of the tower, and the nacelle will be slowly lowered, and the bolt holes on the flange of the nacelle and the top of the tower will be in place. Screw on all the bolts, then continue to slowly descend the engine room, but the hook should be maintained at a certain tension. The nacelle is completely seated on the flange on the top of the tower to ensure that the brake gasket is positioned at the center of the flange on the top of the tower. After all bolt tightening torque reaches the manufacturer's design torque, the crane and lifting device can be removed. The blades are installed by ground combination and integral hoisting methods. This construction method has the advantages of reducing high altitude operations, low cost and high speed. Before installation, a thorough inspection of the blades and hubs must be carried out to confirm whether they are damaged during transportation. According to the requirements of the manufacturer's technical documents, the blades are supported by adjustable brackets in the middle of each blade, and then adjusted and assembled. The hub and blades are assembled on the ground. The blades need to be supported by brackets in a horizontal state. Special clamps are used to clamp the hub. At the same time, two blades are tied with ropes. A 100T crane hooks the remaining blade tip frame through a sling. When using a Audi and the NT crane to lift blades and hubs, in order to avoid blade swings, set to meal assemblers for each blade pull the rope on the ground to control the swing of the blades until they reach the installation height. A blade that hangs down is lifted off the ground by a Audi and the crane. During the lifting process, collisions between the blades and cranes, towers, and the cells are prohibited, and the ropes should not be entangled with each other. During the lifting process, the position of the traction rope should be constantly adjusted to control the blades not to swing. After the blades are erected, the 100T crane loosens the straps. After the Audi D crane lifts the blades and hut to the main shaft flange of the nacelle of the wind turbine, the installer performs aerial assembly in the nacelle, and fastens the hub in the main shaft flange of the nacelle and fastens all the connecting bolts to the design tour. After the installation is completed, check the verticality of the tower tube. After verification, 
All anchor bolts connecting the tower tube and the foundation are tightened to the design torque. And then the connection between the foundation and the bottom flange of the tower tube is secondarily ported. The installed wind turbine generator set is debugged.